The 14th National People's Congress is continuing its fifth plenary meeting of its first session today, and it is scheduled to hold its closing session tomorrow. Ding Xuengjiang, Ho Lifeng, Chang Kuoqing, and Liu Kuoshong have been endorsed as China's new vice premiers. Other high-level officials, including new state councillors and heads of other government departments, have also been confirmed. CGTN's Cheng Chungying has more. China's new vice premiers have been formally appointed. Xi Jinping, elected president of China last Friday, signed a presidential decree to endorse Ding Xuexiang, He Lifeng, Zhang Guoqing, Liu Guozhong as the country's new vice premiers. Nearly 3,000 lawmakers voted to approve the nomination. And they swore to uphold the country's constitution. In the coming years, the new vice premiers are expected to assist the new premier, Li Qiang, in accomplishing several crucial tasks ahead. According to the government work report delivered last Sunday, China has set its annual GDP growth target at around 5% for 2023, as the country hopes to sustain economic recovery after three years of battling COVID-19. China is working to ensure economic stability and high-quality growth amid global economic volatility and geopolitical uncertainty. The appointment of the high-ranking government leaders follows the approval of an institutional reform plan of the State Council on Friday, which called for reforms in the Ministry of Science and Technology and in the areas of financial supervision, data management, rural revitalization, intellectual property rights and care for the elderly. Deputies stressed that the reform represents an important step in enhancing the capacity and efficiency of governance as part of China's modernization drive. The reforms may help China outperform its economic target for 2023 despite external risks and challenges. During the fifth plenary meeting of the first session of the 14th National People's Congress, deputies have also voted to confirm new state councillors and other high-level officials such as ministers, ministers in charge of various commissions, central bank governor, Auditor General and Secretary General of the State Council, as well as leaders and members of eight special committees of the NPC. The Chinese people are now expecting a more rapid and stable economic recovery under the new government leadership, which will help the country develop and improve people's quality of life as it embarked on a new path marked by greater democracy, vitality and confidence. Zheng Chuying, CGTN, at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing.